Hi, I'm John Bacon, Vice President of Marketing for SureCall and manufacturer of Network Signal Boosters. Today we're on site for a field test where we're going to be demonstrating the power and simplicity of the Horizon, our Network Signal Booster. What we've got for our setup is we're using a 5G millimeter wave G-Node B that's set up just behind us. In front of me right here is our Horizon Network Signal Booster that we've got set up at about 100 meters and we're using an iPhone 12 Pro to be able to demonstrate the speeds that we're getting with the booster turned on and off. What we're hoping to demonstrate is that because 5G millimeter wave only travels short distances and is easily blocked by buildings, we're going to be repeating the signal from this location to a location where otherwise there is no 5G ultra wideband on Verizon's network. Before we get started with our test, we wanted to quickly demonstrate the speed that we're actually getting from the G-Node B. Everything is turned off for our network signal booster, the Horizon, but we just wanted to demonstrate the speeds that we are getting with direct line of sight, as you can see it behind me, uh, and just directly to the phone. What we're gonna demonstrate, right, is, is that with 5G millimeter wave, or the ultra wideband, we're actually getting very good speeds right here. Uh, we're pulling in above three gig, uh, and in the location where we're gonna be doing our test, it actually switches to 5G nationwide. 5G nationwide is excellent because it travels greater distances, but at a much reduced speed. As you can see right here, we got about 3.1 gig on the download and about 66 on the upload. Now we're hoping to replicate as close to that as possible when we go to our test location. So now we've moved locations and in our second location here, we've moved here because we're on the other side of the building from the 5G G-Node B millimeter wave tower. And actually we have no 5G ultra wideband or 5G millimeter wave signal. We're only getting 5G nationwide. So we're gonna run a speed test here uh, we've actually got the Horizon booster that's about 100 meters from us and it's powered off right now. So right now we're just getting the 5G nationwide, we're not getting any benefit of the actual 5G tower or base station. Gonna run a speed test real quick and see what speeds we're getting. Now what we're expecting is significantly reduced from what we were getting when we had line of sight to the actual G-Node B. And that's exactly what we're getting significantly reduced. I mean, there's still amazing speeds, frankly, and the 5G Nationwide is a really great system because it's able to penetrate and cover a much larger footprint. But the millimeter wave doesn't actually cover as big of an area. Now we're gonna wave to our network engineer, our field, our field engineer, rather, Mark, who's down there and he's helping out. Mark's gonna be actually setting, uh, turning on the Horizon signal booster. You're gonna see on the phone here, it'll actually go from 5G nationwide to 5G UW. And that means ultra wideband. Again, that's millimeter wave speeds. So now we've got UW that's popped up on the screen. We'll go ahead and run our speed test. Now we're hoping for much higher and even closer to what we were getting a little bit before. And there we are, we're almost at three gig. I mean, this is incredible to be able to go from what we were getting, oh wow, 2.9. We'll consider that a speed test record from everything we know. And that's incredible actually, the speeds that we're able to get. Again, with the booster turned off, you could see we were getting 5G nationwide, significantly reduced speeds. The second we turn the horizon on, I think we're very happy with those speeds that we're able to get in an area that honestly, otherwise, we weren't getting close to that. Well, we'll call that another successful field test with the Horizon Network Signal Booster. Now you should know that the Horizon is currently being deployed with Verizon's nationwide ultra wideband network. And that's because this product is low cost, has low power consumption, requires no fiber, and it's ready for deployment today. For more information, please visit surecall.com or the URL that we've got listed on the screen. Thanks so much.